Thank you. Okay, uh, I will start start right now. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you for coming. Yeah, today we have a a webinar. Yeah, we will talk about a corn industry, especially for a poultry industry. We will uh, see from two perspectives. The first perspective is from uh, Pak Sebastian Stelzer. He will talk about um, corn industry from social and economic uh, side. And from technical side, we have uh, Bapak Irfan Junaidi. Okay, uh, today, uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, I will start with... Uh, okay. Or, yeah. Uh, yeah, I will start with Bapak Sebastian Stetzer, Curriculum uh, Vitae. Yeah. Uh, Bapak Sebastian Stetzer, uh, he is an uh, Argentinian. And not right now, he is staying in uh, Cipetat. Yeah. Please show the PowerPoint. Oh, okay. okay, okay, I will try. Quit a moment because uh, there is some. Wait. Okay. Now, yeah, okay. Uh, he stays in Tangerang right now, and uh, his place of birth is bonus. Bu, Bu, Buenos Aires, Argentina. Yeah, his education is from uh, international trade, licentiate degree yeah, from National University of Lujan, and also from Eastern Studies uh, for from Universidad del Salvador. Okay, his uh, professional profile. Uh, he is the member of Center of Technical Assistance at the Observatory of International Trade. Also, here he is uh, the head at international relations area of the International Trade Observatory at National University of Lujan. Okay, it's a very long uh, list. Yeah. Okay, I will uh, only read some of them. Yeah, the seminars. He is a. Uh, he speaks in very uh, in a lot of uh, uh, events. Yeah, right now and uh, yeah. The last thing is uh, he speaks for trade balance between Argentina, Argentina and Brazil. Okay, as a speaker, and he is there is there is uh, some publications from uh, Sebastian Stetzer. Okay, yeah, he also talked about coronavirus, yeah, and the educational educational system. Yeah, love to read it someday. Okay, okay, and. For uh, the second speaker, we have a Dr. Monsignor Irfan Junaidi. Uh, he's from Faculty of Animal Science, Universitas Brawijaya. Uh, okay, he's, he's coming from uh, non ruminants nutrition. Uh, his uh, education um, background from uh, Animal Science IPB, uh, Institute Pertanian Bogor. His master degree from Wageningen Lenbo University Netherlands, and his doctor from his doctoral degree from uh, Universitas Gajah Mada Yogyakarta. Right now, he is the chief editor journal for uh, Tropical Animal Nutrition, and he is the chief of Asosiasi Ahli Nutrisi Indonesia uh, Jawa Timur sections. Some uh, books and publications from UB Press, and also some uh, his publications in JIP, JITV, JITV, LLRD, and JIPS. He has some uh, um, partnership with PT Ephonic, PT Cargill, PT Sinta Prima Fit Mill, PT Agro Makmur Sentosa, and Cairo University. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's start with our first uh, speakers, Bapak Sebastian Stester. Uh, Sebastian, do you want me to share your presentation or you yeah okay i will yeah, share with your presentation yeah. okay 
Uh, can you see my screen? Yes, yes. Terima kasih. Okay. Uh, time is yours. Okay. How long time I have, Ibu? Yeah, I think you have uh, 20 minutes. Okay, perfect. Terima kasih. Okay, selamat pagi semuanya. Uh, sometimes uh, I'm going to, to use Bahasa Indonesia with Bahasa English because uh, it's my way to practice Bahasa Indonesia. So sorry if I make some mistakes, but uh, it's one of my, my, my ways to, to learn about your country. So I am very happy. I am very happy to stay uh, one more time with Universitas Vijaya. The first time was in the last year. And uh, again, Terimakasi Bu City, because uh, allowing me to, to stay one more time with you, with your university, your faculty. Also my, my appreciation to the community and livestock studies research group, because also uh, involved in the organization I think in this event and also my my gratitude and my greetings to Pak Dr. Irfan uh, Junaidi because uh, his kindness to me and uh, helping to me also to reach uh, your faculty. So I am very happy and in this particular case and uh, I, I, I want to share with you some some perspectives that is happening right now uh, in different parts uh, of the world, particularly in Latin America. I am from the Latin America region, particularly from Argentina. So maybe we can find some similarities, some uh, differences with, with your country. I am not going to focus uh, with your country in this particular case, but maybe we can share some ideas uh, in the final of this uh, presentation or with uh, uh, Pak uh, Irfan as well uh, and you, the audience. So we can try to compare and, and think potential and future uh, activities in order to uh, connect uh, as is one of my, my main uh, purposes, uh, Indonesia with Latin America. So uh, next, I'm going to, to just to go in short to the, to the index or the main topics. I'm going to refer, yeah, terima kasih. Just a, a general overview from the from the general perspective, the corn, the corn industry, the production, export, import, the main players, the main countries specifically. Then I'm going to 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 answer very short uh, why corn is very important and used for animal feed. Then uh, specifically going to uh, the situation in, in Latin America, Argentina and Brazil. Then the pros and cons uh, of using corn for poultry industry. Then changing corn supply for other substitute cereals or cereal byproducts. And finally, ways of cooperation between Indonesia and Latin America for poultry corn and substitutes. But the idea is, is try, try to be more uh, from the economic perspective and social perspective, as uh, Ibu said before, because I think we have a very expert uh, opinion and perspective from Pak Irfan. Okay, next book. This, so this is the, the situation from the, from the general perspective in, in the world, the main players, when we talk about the production of corn, uh, no, 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 no matter. I mean, the, if it's for the food sector or the food market, and also for the for the feed market or sector, this is uh, very general. So we find as one of the uh, one of the big players, the the United States. We have uh, China. We have uh, well, of course, uh, India. We have uh, well, the European Union. When we are. Uh, putting together all the members in the European Union. Yes, they are a very important player. Then we have Argentina, my country, is an important player regarding the, the, the corn production. And also Ukraine uh, in Europe is another uh, important uh, player for production as well as for uh, the export uh, situation. The interesting thing is that a small group of countries, 15 countries uh, actually, they are shipping almost 93% of the, 
of the global corn export in the last year. So this is very important. We can see how concentrated is the, is the corn uh, industry uh, actually. The another thing is the who are the, the biggest uh, exporters. No? We have, for example, the United States, we have Argentina, Brazil, Ukraine, and also uh, France. So these big players, when we talk about the, the export, are also very important. And also from the perspective of the import or chasing countries, again, a very concentrated uh, situation with countries uh, buying uh, corn. Also, in this case, we can try to find uh, some countries in the ASEAN region. Next book. Yeah, this is just uh, like a forecast, no? like an uh, estimation about uh, what is going to happen in this year. This is the, the latest report from the USA, which is the United States Department of uh, Agriculture. Uh, maybe in this uh, next week, maybe from Monday, we are going to have uh, updated information. But this is uh, this uh, data is the latest one. So we can find here what is going to happen specifically with corn in the world, uh, in other countries, and also particularly in America America, because this, uh, this uh, USDA, this source uh, is from America America, so they are specifically uh, focusing also what is happening in the big player, uh, who is the uh, United States. So we have actually like an estimation that compared with the last year, we are going to have uh, more production of corn in different areas uh, because of the uh, prospects, the, the high demand, and some uh, uh, consequence of this uh, is that uh, some farmers, including in my country, they are going to leave uh, some of the, the materials uh, other, and other raw materials, example, the soya bean, example, the wheat, uh, the sorghum, barley, and they, they want to focus on the corn because they know that it's going to be very promising. Again, for food sector, as well as the animal feed sector, okay? Next, okay? This is particularly for some countries the, the same kind of information, what is the perspective, uh, including here we can find information about uh, Indonesia, about my, my country, for example, not so positive, but maybe it can be uh, updated or changed this uh, report, this status, uh, in this next report, as I told you, uh, in the next week. So maybe you can stay uh, updated, you have already information, of course, because you are from Indonesia, you are every day uh, with, uh, well, with the information that is going to happen in your country, but it's interesting that you can compare what is happening in your country with another big players uh, in the world, including Argentina, including uh, another countries in the ASEAN region. Because in some kind of things or products, uh, Indonesia is competitive no? with another ASEAN country, so it's interesting always to, to follow up what is happening in these neighboring countries. Uh, next. Okay, well, this is just uh, uh, the same information, but just uh, illustrated uh, in the map. We can see here uh, what your country is being uh, illustrated. Also my country, Argentina. You can see with the, the color, no, it's orange color or, or red color. It's not so good, the, the perspective, as I told you before, but maybe it can be changed, okay? This, this report, the latest one, uh, was in April, but maybe now in, in July, we can find uh, updated information. We have some uh, big players like the European Union with a good, better perspective and also one country in South Asia, like Pakistan, for example, uh, in a very good uh, projection for this year. Next. This is specifically for export, 
the export behavior for some uh, big players like America Serica, like uh, Brazil uh, and Ukraine, Ukraine specifically, that is Europa. We can find the United States and continue with a, with a good perspective uh, and specifically being uh, attracted because of the high demand uh, in China. China is the one of the most important trading partners. And also interesting thing is that uh, America Serica is replacing uh, some destination markets that uh, countries like Brazil or like uh, Ukraine, and they cannot uh, go in there because actually these countries, they were facing uh, some obstacles uh, about the production, no? maybe because the problem with the climate or maybe some other problems that uh, it was uh, affecting no? the, the, the planting uh, system of corn in this particular country. So there is like a kind of delay, no? delay of the production and, and because of this delay of export. So in this case, United States is uh, going there, is replacing Brazil, is replacing Ukraine as the supplier. Next. This is by the opposite, the import, the import scenario. Also Brazil, Brazil is exporter, Brazil is also importer. But when Brazil is importer is specifically, and this is also for the animal feed industry in Brazil, uh, Brazil is importing from neighboring country. There is a country in, in Latin America, the name is Paraguay, Paraguay is neighboring country between uh, Brazil and Argentina, and is a very important supplier for the south, the south territory of Brazil, where they have a, a good concentration of the animal feed industry and specifically mm. the, the poultry industry. Uh, and this is important to know for you maybe that uh, this is, this is happening because Brazil, they have some problems with the logistics specifically. So they need to supply better and it's becoming cheaper if they import from Paraguay than going internally from central or North Brazil, for example, to the South of Brazil. Next. Okay, well, this is a, a continue uh, information of the US because you have the, the most important uh, the most important uh, producer. So we can find the, how historically how historically the, the United States they were uh, becoming a very important supplier in the world, actually more than 36% of the total global corn trade is, is, is because of the United States. Okay, so this is important to, to know. It's, in, it's important always to, to, to follow uh, the, the situation, the evolution in, in the United States for Indonesia, because also Indonesia uh, importing corn sometimes from the United States. And this can affect the behavior of, uh, of the situation of the animal feed, including the poultry industry in Indonesia. Next. Okay, well, this is a, a continue the information of America Serica, specifically the export, and comparing the situation in the last years. Just to say here that uh, in this year, in 2021, the US is exporting more until now or until the last uh, few months more than in the last years, no? comparing, for example, the situation uh, until March, no? March in, uh, in the United States versus the last years, we can find that America Serica more aggressive, more proactive when exporting for food industry, when exporting for the feed market, specifically the poultry industry. Next. Year. Okay, this is just specifically going to uh, one of the main players of corn, specific, specifically from Latin America, Brazil. Brazil is a very big country. 
big country from the geography, big country from the economy, and also big country from the population. You know, because uh, if you compare, for example, population, Brazil, they have uh, more than 210 uh, million people. Indonesia has more people than Brazil. But it's interesting because of this kind of similar indicators, the geography, the economy, uh, population, uh, and also the, the thing that Brazil is a very aggressive uh, export of, uh, of chicken. Uh, even there was a kind of issue regarding the exporting chicken to, to Indonesia. So also it's always attractive, always interesting to uh, analyze what is happening in, in Brazil. So this, this is the situation from Brazil about export, about import. There is a, a, a delay regarding production of corn in Brazil because of this also exporting corn. But the situation is that Brazil will become to the normality uh, from maybe uh, October this year until February 2022. Next you. Okay, this is the uh, information in case you are interested. The main exporters of uh, Jagun. Uh, in different countries, but these are the most important. There are many from America Serica, for example, uh, well, maybe you know already Bunche, uh, Cargill, uh, ADM or Archer Daniels uh, Midland, Ingredion, specifically for corn, uh, Louis Dreyfus. Uh, some of these, they are working in many commodities. In the case of Ingredion, it's very, it's very, uh, attractive for them uh, working with the with the production of corn and then we have some countries from uh, brazil also and, and and countries located in uh, europa next well this is interesting and, and, and you know already this information that the the, the prices specifically for corn uh, they were uh, increasing uh, from the last years last year sorry uh, more than 100% even. Uh, one of the one of the reasons was the, the, the rise, the rise in demand from from China. Also some problems, as I told you before, uh, but more related to the climate. For example, the drought uh, in Brazil. Some problems. Remember also in Ukraine, even in my country in the last year. So all this was uh, were affecting. The, as a consequence, the situation of the of the production, no less production or less offer, and because of this, increasing the price, the international price. So because of this, we can say also that some producers in different countries, uh, producers of uh, poultry, broiler, I mean, they were considering or reconsidering their strategy about what we can do because the, we need the, the, the corn exactly for as a raw material for, for our uh, nutrition in our animals, no? in, our, in our chickens. So the idea is maybe we, we need to go to alternative options or maybe we need to reduce our production and continue uh, buying corn or maybe postpone the production or maybe go into another industry. We have a, like a different situations, uh, and also this happening in my country. My country was facing in the poultry industry uh, a lot of problems, specifically because of the rising uh, prices uh, for corn and also the soya bean, eh? soya bean meal as well. Next, Ivo. Yeah, but this is more technical. Uh, I am not going to be specifically detailed here and. Uh, Spring a long time. I think it's better if we can hear uh, Pak Irfan and, and maybe the audience uh, sharing the, the opinion, the perspective. Uh, but uh, generally speaking, maybe because uh, it's not so, because we can find uh, abundant resources uh, from the corn and the corn uh, derivatives, no? the corn gluten feed, the corn gluten meal, for example. So it's, it's, it's very interesting for, for the producers uh, to buy corn 
as a, as an ingredient for the animal feed, but uh, and also the, of course the nutrients, no, the nutrients from the protein, uh, for the energy and among other things. But there are also some uh, maybe uh, negative things if we compare with another with another grains or maybe with another uh, options, no? maybe with uh, some uh, uh, oil seeds uh, or maybe with some fats or enzymes or vitamins, uh, et cetera. So it's just a matter always to, to compare not only uh, what is the cheapest uh, option, but also after all uh, the nutritional uh, value. Next. Yeah, I come back to, to talk about the United States as, a, as the big player in the corn industry and as well as for the animal feed. It's very important that the domestic market in the United States as well as uh, the United States exporting corn for animal feed uh, purpose or, and for example, the United States uh, exporting the, the chicken. So for all this situation, for all this scenarios is very important to develop, to continue to develop the corn industry, specifically going for the animal feed. But you know so far that uh, between 35 to 40% of the corn is used specifically for feed products, uh, depending if it's for the, for the livestock sector or, or for the specifically the, the poultry sector. Uh, so it's, it's, it's really, really, really important for United States <coughs> uh, working with the animal feed. Next book. Yeah, so here you can find a, a statistic comparing uh, how the corn is uh, being utilized for animal feed uh, industry. Uh, you can find here in the light blue color comparing with the corn when it's exported, the corn for food, or the corn for the uh, ethanol, okay? So this is also maybe interesting to, to see how important is corn for animal feed and, and inside this for the poultry industry. Next. The situation in Brazil, as I told you, uh, Brazil as the, as the main supplier, the, the, the most important uh, exporter, of course, uh, of chicken, not only in Latin America, but also in the world. And because all of this, the corn is, is playing a very important role, as well as the soya bean meal as the nutritional uh, values or components for the poultry industry. And even the, the consumption per capita of uh, chicken and egg in Brazil is very high. The same we can, we can, uh, we can say from Argentina uh, and other countries in Latin America, like uh, Mexico, for example. So for all these uh, uh, indicators or characteristics, it's important that uh, we can use in our region, in Latin America, uh, the corn. The corn is the most important one. And, and then we have also the soya bean meal. Sometimes we have more soya bean meal than corn, uh, but it, it, it depends how attractive it is for uh, different producers, because even in, in Inside one country, we have different uh, behavior. No? Maybe some producers using more corn than soya bean, and then we have another uh, ingredients mixed together, some vitamins, for example, or, or maybe soya bean the most important than corn, or, or vice versa, something like this. So uh, this is the, the, the situation happening actually in, in Latin America and Brazil, in Argentina in particular. And the, this is a particular moment because of the, the still very high price of the corn that they are trying to go to alternatives. Maybe in the United States is a little different in the, the majority of the producer, they want to continue working with corn for poultry as the most important ingredient. Uh, but in some other countries, they, want, they are reconsidering the strategy uh, actually. Next. Okay, now this is very short, uh, some statistics you can find here, the chicken meat production in the left uh, part of the slide. Uh, and also you can find the Brazil per capita consumption of chicken. 
this is all related to chicken. Uh, and then in the right side, the destination of the Brazilian chicken meat if, uh, for the local market or for exporter, and also the uh, chicken meat exports uh, by products. No? If, if the, a total product or the whole chicken or parts of the chicken are uh, being exported. So this is just a information of uh, how chicken is important for Brazil. And understanding this information in Brazil, you can understand also how important is uh, the information uh, of corn utilized uh, in Brazil. Next, uh -huh. Okay, this is the situation in my country. We have, for example, in my country that uh, between 60 and 65% of the ingredients uh, is corn, is chagum. Then we have 30% soya bean, and then we have some derivative or some uh, byproducts, and also some kind of uh, vitamins. Okay. <laughs> the, the, per the consumption of chicken meat is, is very high in my country, even is quite similar with the, the consumption of beef in this year. So it was becoming very, very important every year, and also because the chicken, the price of the chicken comparing with the, the price of beef uh, is cheaper. So it's becoming more uh, accessible yeah? uh, in this uh, complex moment of the pandemic, struggling the economy in Argentina. But the, this kind of uh, situation with the international price of the corn are affecting the, the producers. Uh, so there are many producers in my country actually regarding the poultry industry that they are selling uh, under with the price uh, under the, the cost of the production. So it's not really lucrative right now for them. That's why there is a kind of uh, frustration in this, in this moment in, in my country. There are some people uh, going to uh, another, another places, uh, another uh, subsectors no? uh, inside the the agriculture, okay. Next, yeah. Well, this is just a, a, some things I was mentioned before. So, uh, continue to the next. It's just some some opinions from from main producers in my country. So you can access them to the presentation. No problem. You can you can read these uh, opinions. This is also another thing that is more proper, I think, uh, if we can hear from Pak uh, Ifan, the, the pros and cons of, of using the, the corn for the whole industry. Uh, but from my perspective, and when I am talking with the, the people in, in Latin America mainly, you know, regarding the, the corn for the, the poultry industry, actually, yes, they acknowledge the importance of the corn for because of the nutritional value the uh, availability because in my, in my country we have a lot of uh, corn uh, areas no uh, in different places in argentina so it's very easy uh, to find uh, corn because of this is is uh, sometimes is very uh, economic is very good but sometimes for example right now it is becoming very difficult and then when we, when we talk about the cons or the difficulties or the more negative aspects, maybe there are some things, not only the price, not only the cost, but maybe some nutritional uh, uh, content or, 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 or values that uh, is better maybe going to wheat or to sorghum or barley or, or, or another ones. But this is something maybe more interesting we can hear uh, from you, the experts, the veterinarians, for example, about, about this. Next, Ivo. Yes, exactly. So basically, in, in some places in the world, because of the climate, because the, the specifically the, the climate, the land, also the availability, uh, some regions, some countries, they are not uh, using uh, corn uh, in general, and also specifically for the poultry industry. So in this case, for example, we find that uh, in Western uh, Europa, we have the wheat as the most important one. 
And when there are some uh, problems, specifically uh, economic problems, because the high price, they are going to another uh, grains like the, the maize uh, and like the sorghum uh, as well. In some Asian countries, you know already, uh, corn is, is one of the most important. Sometimes wheat is the alternative when the corn price specifically is very high. This is the main reason. And then another thing is uh, using uh, some additives, some vitamins, some uh, micro ingredients, not only grains, no? but going to another alternative uh, in order to, to add uh, this kind of nutritional uh, value that is necessary to, to fat, uh, to, to get fat, I mean the, the chicken or uh, another uh, objectives uh, that the producer uh, has. Okay, next. So we have, for example, the, the case of a neighboring country like Australia. Maybe you know already the, the situation for Australia regarding the, the poultry industry. Uh, in the case of Australia, it's very important uh, when they are using grains, specifically wheat, specifically barley and sorghum, because actually this, these commodities are uh, located uh, are available, I mean, uh, locally in Australia. Sometimes they are also importing, uh, for example, the, the, the corn, uh, but they are mainly uh, utilizing this. And then we have another kind of alternatives like uh, uh, vegetable and animal protein, like the soya bean, uh, soya bean meal, I mean, and some other uh, nutritional like uh, vitamins, like uh, minerals. But uh, this is uh, important to understand the situation in, in Australia because Australia is uh, a good exporter in all this region, the Asia Pacific on, and Oceania. So it's important to understand uh, what is happening in, in Australia. Sometimes they are importing also uh, some commodities uh, which are uh, modified, no? Genet genetically modified, uh, even in another country, not only Australia. Uh, in the United States, even in, in Brazil, in my country, we are using the, even for poultry, uh, genetically, genetically modified uh, commodity or products, which is uh, maybe not so healthy. It, it depends maybe the opinion of, of, of each one uh, has about the situation, but uh, this is something that actually is happening. Next one. How long time I have, Ivo? Ten, 10 minutes or? Yeah, okay, 10 minutes, okay, no, Sebastian. Okay, Pak, terima kasih. Okay, the situation of uh, wheat, uh, specifically in, in countries, as I told you, like uh, Europa, uh, well, remember also in, in the United States, uh, specifically in the case of Europe, it's important the, 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 the role that countries like Poland, like Peranchis, uh, uh, United Kingdom, German, uh, Italian, I mean, they are, they are the biggest producers, the biggest uh, exporters. Uh, it's it's uh, important to, to also understand, actually, in this year and in part of the last year, there were some complications uh, for the poultry industry in general, affecting the production and also export because of the, the influenza uh, problem. Uh, in some countries, uh, not in Europe, but in another in another regions, and because of this mainly uh, affecting the calculations, the strategies, and because of this, uh, how much and, and with uh, what uh, nutritional uh, value uh, they can uh, develop the the broiler, the, the the chicken, the final chicken. So it's important also to to understand that they are not problems regarding uh, the prices in the corn uh, or the wheat, for example, here, uh, but also to understand another problems more related to, to, to the health, no? to, to infections, among other things that can affect as a consequence uh, how much we are going to produce and what going to, to use as a, as a feed material. 
uh, in the case of Europe, they are mostly using wheat. They are, of course, uh, importing uh, jagum, uh, soya bean meal. Uh, I'm going to mention this uh, in the next slide. Uh, uh, next, please. Yeah, you can see here, for example, the, the situation for the feed components in the European Union is for the poultry uh, specifically, 70% uh, approximately or, or a little more uh, came from the, the grains. No. And we have a, a, a mixed uh, behavior. No? We have the, the wheat, we have corn, corn mainly uh, imported. We have also uh, barley, so very interesting. And then apart from, from the grains, we are uh, in Europe, I mean, they are using also uh, oil mills. In the case of poultry, for example, you can see uh, in the right part of the slide, uh, the non-genetically uh, modified uh, ingredients that some countries they are uh, using, for example. It means that, for example, uh, German, uh, Sweden, uh, Austria, they are going to uh, the, the organic uh, uh, feed uh, ingredients. This is not happening in other countries like uh, uh, Hungary or uh, branches. Next. This is for sorghum. Sorghum, like uh, I just mentioned here, some kind of alternatives uh, uh, for corn, okay, I was mentioning wheat, now I am mentioning uh, sorghum. Uh, sorghum, maybe they have some good uh, positive aspect, but also maybe some negative aspect. It depends the the information that we are reading. Uh, I just put here for like an example, no? Uh, some different uh, characteristics that uh, we should be uh, aware if we are producer, no? In the case we want to use uh, sorghum. And uh, I just put here some uh, quotes from one of the uh, specialists uh, of sorghum in America Serica about uh, why it's important or positive uh, using uh, sorghum, not only in the United States, but also in other countries uh, for the poultry industry. Next. Another options like barley uh, and also oatmeal uh, because of the climate or, or maybe this, the specific area, maybe we can find this in, in, in some countries most, uh, apart from Australia, uh, some countries in, in Europe, as well as in North America, uh, more temperate uh, climate, more, maybe more cold. So it's possible to, to, to produce this and, and also to deliver this to the poultry industry. Uh, and also for comparison, I, I put here some uh, information uh, about the positive or the negative things of barley if we want to use it for the, the poultry industry. Okay, but uh, this is long information. Uh, if, I, if I read this, I, I don't have enough time to, to continue with that, but you can access the, the, the presentation later and, and read more deeply uh, in case you, you don't have more uh, detailed information about this. Next. But the, the important thing that is that uh, these different uh, products, they are being utilized already uh, in these countries, in, in Europe, in Canada, in Australia. So maybe for uh, Indonesia could be interesting if not used it yet, uh, how they can be used, uh, with uh, which proportion, from which countries it can be imported or, or try to do some kind of cooperation in order to develop locally the, the ingredient. No? This is something that is open to, to think, open to plan, or open to do discussion. Well, you know already about the BBGS because it's uh, utilized in Indonesia. Uh, it's, it's very important. Uh, United States is, is the biggest uh, producer and, and, and exporter of the BGS. Argentina also, Paraguay also in South America and Latin America, they are 
producing and exporting this. Also in, in, in Belandia, we can find this kind of information, but uh, it's, it's uh, really important and is a, a derivative, I mean, from the core uh, industry in general and also the, well, the ethanol production. Next. Okay, another derivative like the corn gluten meal, you know about this already, so I am not going to be specifically uh, detailed with the information and also the corn gluten feed. Uh, not only in, in Indonesia, but in, in other countries in Asia, is, is being very uh, utilized. Uh, so just putting here the information like a and like a comparison with the another uh, options, grains or, or not grains. Next. Well, this is another one, but this is uh, coming from the, the rice production, which is the, the rice brand, like another kind of uh, alternative. Also, like in the last uh, slides, the, the another uh, alternatives, I also put here what kind of information uh, we need to, to take care when we want to, to put it into the mix of ingredients for the, the, the poultry uh, feed, no? the poultry uh, production. So it's important to, to be aware uh, how much, what, what, what kind of thing we need to, to, to think more deeply, to, to analyze, to be aware when we want to, to give the rice bran for, for the chicken. Yeah? Next. Okay, we have another derivative from, from the wheat, like the wheat bran. This is also uh, uh, utilized not only in these European countries or, or North America, but also uh, in my country, also in, in South Korea, uh, well, Australia, New Zealand, for example, they are using for, for the poultry industry, the, the wheat bran. Maybe it's not so significant the percentage compared with corn, compared with the, the soya bean meal, or, or maybe the, the latest one, but they are, it's another, uh, another option. Then, Sebastian? Yeah. Uh, you have uh, three minutes. Okay, I am okay. going uh, pretty fast. Okay. okay, the cassava, you know already because we have cassava in Indonesia. Okay. Cassava also being utilized in, in African countries and, and Thailand, so you know already about this. Uh, so. Next uh, slide, please. Okay, the another alternative would be rapeseed meal. Okay, this is from the oil seed, uh, but it's not so utilized. You can find a statistic about the main producer, main exporters, or or consumer. Next, Ivo. Going fast, and, and then you can access the presentation, please. No, no, no problem. This is another alternative from the oil seed, the, the cotton seed meal, okay? And the other one is the sunflower meal, for example, the same kind of information. Yeah, next Ibu, no problem. Well, you know about this already, so next Ibu, palm kernel meal. Copra meal, we know already, next. This is good for me because <laughs> going fast with the finishing the presentation. This is just a comparison, uh, what, what, what kind of things you need to consider when you are uh, developing the, the, the chicken, the broiler in the different stages, uh, what kind of uh, the, the different options yeah, uh, you can use and, and how frequent or how much the percentage, for example. This is just a, a comparison, but this is very technical, so I want to go to the next. Yeah. So yeah, I am almost finishing with this. The idea of cooperation, cooperation in Indonesia, cooperation Latin America. I say Latin America because it's my region, uh, because personally I, I can be helpful for you if you can help to, to understand each other, no? Uh, Indonesia with Latin America and vice versa for poultry industry regarding the, the animal feed, regarding other issues, technology, uh, human capital, doing research. For this, we have cooperation between governments, cooperation between institutions, cooperation between companies, and cooperation between us, for example, universities. So these are the different ways we can go deeply when going to discussion maybe about how we can cooperate together to, to bring together Indonesia and Latin America. Next. Okay, the final remarks. 
uh, even I want to be short with this, I'm going to read only the, the, last, uh, the last quote, which is, uh, is a question actually. Can Indonesia and Latin America countries work together to develop the poultry industry, including analyzing and solving together the challenges related to poultry nutrition and, and beyond? And the answer is yes, because we have the material, we have the, 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 the research, we have very similarities indeed, not only the climate or maybe the availability of land, the resources, but there are many things. The point is we need to, to sit together, no, virtually or not virtually, uh, but we need to go beyond and, and to work together. I think we can get the support from our governments if we push together and we think that, and we say, no, this is important for us, the future for our people, let's work together. So this is the last thing I want to say. Terima kasih, Ibu. Terima kasih, semua. Thank you very much, Sebastian. It's very uh, interesting about the information. And some of, most of them are new for me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have many questions, but I think we have to go to uh, Bapak Irfan Junaidi. Okay, Bapak Irfan Junaidi, are you there already? Yeah, thank okay. You. Yeah, you can start your presentation. Okay, terima kasih. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. I already respond my invitation to speak together in this uh, webinar. Yeah. Okay, first of all, I want to thanks to my people. Animal Science in Brawijaya University. Also, the research group, our colleagues in research group, yeah, we like to talk about this research group and also the tropical poultry research group. Also, I saw here some friends from Kumprat, uh, yeah, some Ratulangi, Manago, thank you, yeah, from Hasanuddin University also, and here yeah. from Gorontalo also. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, maybe uh, some friend of your uh, Sebastian, your friend, I think, yeah? some Argentinian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Also, student, yeah, who already uh, attend in this webinar. Thank you very much, and also for the whole audience already. Uh, uh, and time, participation, and also uh, attention to our webinar. Thank you. Okay. Uh, in this time, I want to talk about the corn, yeah. Corn, poultry, feed, yeah. Okay. Let me share the screen, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Sebastian has already talked about the corn yeah, in the world of view and also from the more economical perspective. In this time, I want to talk about the corn in the technical, yeah, maybe technical perspective, yeah, about the supply and production of the corn. Okay, before we talk about the corn specific, yeah. First of all, I want to uh, talk about the current condition of the poultry food in Indonesia. Yeah. The feed stuff, including the corn, use not only for feed, but also for the human food and also for food. Yeah. Sebastian already informed you about the corn for the uh, bioethanol production. So the raw material, uh, that product is a corn. Yeah. The second one is local feed availability. Yeah. We only use yeah it's situation in Indonesia only thirty five yeah local content feed stuff, and the others sixty five is uh, important. Yeah. The characteristic of the local is a limited type and also limited quantity sometimes. Yeah. The food weight availability and also low quality depend on the, the season and also the, man the management. 
Uh, also, the seasonal production. One particularly is a uh, seasonal production, but the corn used uh, daily. Yeah. So that's why we need the uh, logistic. We need the uh, uh, storage. Yes. In silo, for example. Yeah. To match. Yeah. To make a balance between the uh, seasonal production of corn and daily use of the corn by the by the farm, poultry farm, yeah. Also, we have a high price, yeah. The local feedstock sometimes uh, have a high price, yeah. It's not competitive compared to the uh, imported feedstock, yeah. I will inform to you the, the wait, is the comparison between the local price and in the international price of the corn, yeah. And the third, import fish stuff, they yeah, are mostly, yeah, generally high quantity, quantity, high also quality with the competitive price. Yeah. Okay, the, the four, feed production, yeah, in Indonesia is meet the requirement and feed meal capacity. So we have a balance between the production and also the capacity, yeah, about uh, 22 metric ton a year is the only for the poultry. Yeah. Okay, the next uh, of the alternative is stuff, yeah. But they already uh, informed to you about the alternative for the for the corn, yeah. We don't have a good uh, substitute uh, feed stuff to substitute the, the, the corn. So because of the lack, yeah, limitation of the uh, production of the corn, yeah. The farmer, yeah, the, in the in the field, yeah, they try to decrease, yeah, try to decrease the utilization, the percentage of the yellow corn in the in the poultry feed, yeah. Maybe generally we, we talk about the feed, about the yellow, yellow corn used about the 50 until 60 in the poultry feed, but now because the high price, because the limitation of the quantity production we use become lower yeah that now maybe the corn is only used between 40 and 45 percent okay this is a, a graphic that uh, about the trend of indonesian feed production yeah based on the data from the feed mill association yeah there is the production yeah is increasing, yeah, from 2011 until 2020, yeah, still have a uh, increasing, yeah, uh, production of the feed, yeah, yeah, in average maybe five percent a year, yeah, the increasing of the feed production in Indonesia is about uh, five percent a year. It is in the normal situation, but now we have. Uh, have a pandemic situation, yeah, that also have effect to the poultry feed, poultry farm, and also the feed staff availability. What happened during the pandemic? Yeah, the first one is uh, there is a steep decline in age and meat demand. Yeah, this is due to low purchasing power of the consumer. Yeah, the second one is a shortage of feed staff availability. Yeah cause of food drop yeah of feed production yeah normally yeah like i mentioned before the annual feed production now 2021 is about uh, 22 metric ton yeah with the growth 5 until 6% a year yeah the, the next one is price of this stuff increase yeah due to demand and supply problem yeah sometimes because of uh, demand is high, supply is low, so the price is become higher. Okay, the next one is about the situation about the population. Poultry population rated by the farmer decrease, yeah, because the uh, limitation of HH, HH, HH and the OC production, yeah. So that's why the, the farmer is uh, difficult to buy, yeah. The DOC production 
So that's why they only have, uh, maybe they only rear half of the capacity of their housing, poultry housing. Yeah. The next one is uh, limited transportation. Yeah. This also affect to the transportation of the feedstuff, yeah, local and import, yeah, transportation of uh, the old chick, vaccine, and also poultry drug, yeah, including the it is, uh, vitamin, feed additive also. Yeah. And the next one is affect to supply chain and cause decrease of 30% production. Yeah. This affect also to the supply chain of feed additive, premix, vitamin, amino acid. Okay, before we talk, continue about the corn, I want to show you the, the competitive, comparative price of different some food protein product. Yeah? For poultry, we have for egg and broiler meat. Yeah? If we compare yeah, the price based on the protein content, yeah? based on the protein content, this is the price, this is the market price, and this is the price based on the protein content. Yeah. So the egg, if you divide the price with the protein content, yeah, all the commodity here, egg is the most cheap. Yeah. The cheapest price of the protein food is egg. Yeah. Also, maybe a little bit high the broiler meat. Yeah. But if you compare with the milk, with the native chicken, also the beef, yeah, the egg and broiler meat is uh, lower, yeah, cheaper. So that's why yeah, the consumer most prefer to, to buy egg and to buy broiler meat to fulfill their, their food. Yeah? If we compare with the other uh, product, for example, the marine fish, yeah, with the uh, pond fish here, yeah. Maybe the egg and the broiler meat is the equal to the fish, the yeah, fish and tempeh or tahu here, tofu here, yeah. Okay, that's why egg and the broiler meat is the uh, lower uh, protein uh, food, yeah, lower price protein food, cheaper. Okay. We look here the broiler consumption, yeah, broiler meat consumption, yeah, in the ASEAN countries comparing with the ASEAN countries. Indonesia, I think, is in the middle, yeah, in the middle. If we compare with the maybe the Thailand, is still lower, yeah. But if we look, yeah, this quantity, yeah, quantity of uh, this uh, 10 kg per capita. Is only contribute about uh, four until five gram protein per day, yeah, daily. Only five gram. It's not enough, yeah. We still have to increase, yeah, maybe at least twice, yeah, to increase the daily protein from the broiler, yeah, until ten or twelve gram a day, yeah. Also, we have uh, same. Uh, Amount, yeah, same problem also with the egg, yeah, egg consumption, yeah. Indonesia is uh, in the middle, yeah. 125 egg a year, yeah, per capita a year. So for one percent of Indonesia is uh, consume one third, yeah, third of the egg a day. Okay, if we look the feed composition of the poultry breed, yeah, based on the uh, feed meal association in Indonesia, yeah, the corn, the composition of the feed is uh, mostly dominated by corn, yeah, about forty percent, yeah, forty percent, and next is uh, followed by the uh, soybean meal, yeah. Also with the corn gluten meal, meat bone meal, yeah, is the the first three of the most important component in the poultry feed. If we look the feed from the local, it is only thirty five. Yeah, here we have a corn 
and the brand is uh, derived from the local source. And the others, yeah, like uh, CGM, MBM, Premix, yeah, um, soybean meal, yeah, is uh, derived from the import. Yeah, that's why we still have uh, difficulties, yeah, to make the price of the feed uh, uh, stable. Yeah. Okay, this is a tabel that uh, figure of the what kind of the feedstuff with the local source here. We have a yellow corn, yeah, fifty percent, yeah, almost ten, one hundred percent, yeah, from local rice bran, stone, opra meal, yeah, crude palm oil, calcium phosphate is uh, come from the uh, local, and the other one. Yeah, from the import is the soybean meal. Yeah, I mentioned before. Yeah, Sebastian also mentioned here about the rapeseed. Yeah, the DGS, also feed wet, corn gluten meal is all the we have. We don't have uh, that kind of the raw material. Yeah. Okay. If we back to the corn as the energy source for the poultry. Yeah. This is the structure of the corn seed. Yeah. The most, uh, the largest portion of the seed is the uh, endosperm. Yeah. Endosperm is consists of the starch. Yeah. Starch, starch is the mine of the uh, energy. So that's why, yeah, because the portion of the endosperm in the corn seed is uh, dominant. So, the ingredient, the energy content of the uh, corn quite high, yeah, until uh, 3,200 metabolic energy per kg, yeah. The second one is germ, yeah. Germ is in the middle of the seed, yeah. This is the contained uh, protein and also oil of the of the corn, yeah. This also the embryo part of sprouted seed. If you have a, want to plant the the corn seed, yeah, this is the come from the germ. So, if you want to make a feed, yeah, from the corn, yeah. You use a corn, you have to use the corn, yeah, with the big endosperm, yeah, because we also have, yeah, the corn seed with the germ, the little bit uh, bigger germ, yeah. If you use the germ, the corn with the big portion of the germ, this is good for oil production, yeah. But for the poultry feed, it's better you use the corn with the endosperm. Okay, and the last one is the, because the corn also have the beta carotene. Yeah, there's the, the yellow pigment here. Yeah, this is uh, located. Yeah, in the in the side of the of the of the seed. Okay, if we talk about the quality here, yeah, we talk about the corn, for example, yeah, we not only talk about the animal feeding, yeah, but also we talk about the grain trade, yeah. What the factor important in the grain trade is the test weight. Test weight is a density, yeah. How many kg of the corn? Per yeah, full of foreign material. Yeah, if you buy the corn, yeah, you you hope all the grain you get is the corn, yeah, not the other material. Yeah, so maybe the toleration of the level foreign material is only two percent here. Yeah, also the next one is more important is the color. Yeah, for for the corn is yellow. Yeah because the yellow 
pigment of the corn will be effect to the quality of the animal product, to the yolk, to the what is the broiler skin. Yeah. Also, the next one is about the fine and broken kernel. Yeah. You should you should have a grain with the whole. Yeah, with the whole grain. Yeah. Because the fine and broken kernel is easier to infest by the uh, it is, uh, by the insect or others. Yeah. The last one in the grain trade is we talk about the moisture. Yeah. Moisture have to less than fourteen. Yeah. If you have to storage the grain before you use, yeah, you have to make sure that the grain, that the corn you buy, have to have a moisture less than fourteen. It's safe for the uh, storage. Yeah, of course, as I mentioned before, the as the animal feeding, yeah, level of energy, particularly for the poultry, is a metabolic energy. Yeah. Level of protein for the corn is about the nine percent, eight point five until nine. Yeah. Also the lysine. Yeah. Because the lysine is the amino acid mostly deficient in the plant. Yeah. In the plant product. Yeah. Okay. And the next one about the animal feeding is availability of the nutrient. Is uh, mean is about the digestibility, the availability of the nutrient. Yeah. Okay. Based on the ingredient of the of the corn as energy source, yeah. If you want to substitute the corn, if it is possible or not, yeah. I want to inform to you, yeah, that the ingredient of the corn is quite high, quite uh, good, yeah, because the metabolic energy relative high, yeah, three thousand two hundred. Kilocalorie per kg, yeah. Compared to other energy source, yeah, wet, for example, is only 300, yeah, broken rice, 200, 200, 20, 800 brand, yeah, or other tapioca or sagu, yeah. So that's why if you want to substitute, for example, 20% of the corn with the other, uh, Feed stuff, yeah. You have to make sure that the equal energy you have after you make substitution, yeah. You cannot uh, replace the twenty percent of the corn with the twenty percent of the bran, for example, yeah. Because if you have substitute with this uh, with the similar quantity, you will be have a. Uh, uh, deficient of energy. So that's why you have to add some energy source, for example, fat, yeah? Fat is the highest uh, pro uh, energy content that mostly used yeah, in the poultry feed yeah, to, to make the, the energy become uh, uh, normal, yeah? The next one is about the feed density, yeah? The density of the corn is quite high, yeah? Compared with the other uh, uh, feed stuff, yeah. For one one liter, yeah. For one liter, yeah. The density of the corn is a uh, 0.7 kg, yeah. But for the other feed stuff, yeah. For same volume, they will have a lower, not 0.7, but less, yeah. Okay, the next one is about the protein content. It's a higher compared to the other energy source with stuff, yeah, because the protein of the corn is 9%, yeah. So that's why I a little bit uh, it is, uh, impressed with the, what already uh, informed with the Sebastian about the sorghum, yes. Yeah? Sorghum have a higher protein, yeah. As we know, the sorghum is less, yeah, less than uh, corn. Yeah, maybe we can talk later. Okay, the next one is a beta carotene. Yeah, there is a important uh, pigment that's 
contained in the corn. They are good for carcass uh, skin and also for the egg yolk. Yeah. And next is about the price. Yeah. If you compare with the other energy source, yeah, the corn is have a relative lower. Yeah. So if you want to make substitution, yeah, maybe it should be done partly. Yeah. Not not all. Yeah. Of the corn you can substitute, but only. Uh, 20 until 25 of the poultry feed. Okay, this is the maybe explanation about if you want to use the fat to add the energy because you substitute the substitute the corn. Yeah, maybe the purpose, the positive thing is the calorie density is uh, increased. Yeah, improving about palatability, facilitate of fat soluble feed yeah provide fatty acid and next yeah but you have to concern also you have to little bit uh it is uh, uh concern with the high level fat yeah in pellet can cause so pellet yeah if you want to make a feed in the pellet form yeah you have to use the fat in less quantity, yeah. Because if you use uh, higher, the pellet will be soft, yeah. The next one is fat also can uh, become rancid, yeah, because the content of the fat saturated unsaturated fatty acid will become easier to to make to get a rancid, yeah. Also, fat can coat and clog mixing distribution equipment, and also how to add, yeah, how to add, yeah. Maybe the small quantity, yeah, is uh, recommended, but hard to mix, yeah, to make uh, uh, it is uh, to mix better in the feed. Okay, corn requirement of Indonesian feed mill, yeah. Maybe the data from the Feed Meal Association until 2020 is about uh, uh, 9.5 yeah metric ton yeah because the quantity of the feed production about the what 21 22 metric ton so the corn requirement is about the half that's quantity yeah about the 9.5 until until 10. And then here there is uh, some note that uh, the growth of the corn requirement is uh, increased five percent a year. Okay, is the corn price yeah on the farm and international market yeah the blue the blue one here blue line here is the price of uh, on farm. Yeah, on farm corn. Yeah, here. Yeah. And the yellow one is the other country or international trade here. Yeah, lower. So that's why it's uh, explained here. Yeah, the other country like USA, yeah, America, Argentina, and also Brazil can produce the corn with the lower price. Yeah. The production cost of the corn in the wait is the country uh, producing corn is lower, yeah. So that's why the the farmer, the feed mill is prefer to to import, yeah. But we still have a, a, we still have in the quantity, yeah. We can fulfill the requirement of the corn, so that's why the government make a, which is a, the have a policy that the, we don't try to uh, import the corn, yeah, because the the local production is enough, yeah, but the cost is still higher compared with the international price, yeah. Okay. Implication for the corn price, yeah, increase demand for corn is expected to, yeah, yeah. If you, if the policy policy of the the government, yeah, increase the corn price, yeah, 
it will be expected to increase corn price. Also increase corn area, acre, yeah? particularly outside of Java, yeah? because Java is the most uh, uh, populated uh, island. So if we want to develop the new area for the corn production, going to the other area, right? like Nusa Tenggara, yeah? Nusa Tenggara Timur, East Nusa Tenggara, West Nusa Tenggara, to South Sulawesi, Gorontalo, and also Lampung, yeah? it's a very uh, prospective uh, area to produce the, the corn. Yeah? For the long, long run price impact, yeah? depend on the price of oil, yeah? because as I mentioned before, the use of the corn, not only for feed and food, but also for the for the fuel, yeah. And next is about the production cost efficiency, yeah. I think the farmer have to try how to make uh, the production cost getting lower, so they will be have a better uh, earn, yeah. Okay, if the price getting higher, yeah, the farmer try to inclusion. Yeah, the co-product feed in the livestock diet. Yeah, maybe for the poultry, it's difficult to use the high quantity of the cow product. Yeah, uh, different with the ruminant feed. Yeah, I think it's uh, easier to use the co-product feed in the livestock in the livestock diet. Yeah, okay. For the short term, yeah, maybe the high price will be changed the demand. Yeah also with impact to the feed price and also the quality production cost. Because the feed uh, composition, yeah, feed cost composition is the, uh, the most uh, high yeah, uh, of the animal or the quality production cost. Okay, it is the prediction of corn demand for poultry here. Yeah, this is uh, in, demand for feed meal here and also for the poultry farm yeah poultry farm yeah we call here is the peternak mandiri yeah in the individual farm yeah not uh, it's different with the they, they mix uh, fa they mix feed yeah self mix feed here yeah in 20 2020 and 2021 yeah we have a growth here yeah increase from 2020 to the 2021, yeah. Okay, for the standard, yeah, standard price, yeah. We, if we talk about the price, we have to make the standard to the water content, yeah. I mentioned before that the water content of the corn, yeah, should be less than 14, yeah. But the standard here, based on the trade ministry regulation, then number seven, 2020, the maximal water content, yeah, is a uh, 15 here, yeah. With the on farm price is a uh, 3,150 yeah, and the market price is a uh, 4,500 There is the different here, quite uh, high here, yeah between the on-farm price, farm, farm price, and the market price, yeah, yeah. And then with the higher water content, the on-farm price become lower, become cheaper, yeah. Okay, here, yeah, I take uh, this data from the Ministry of uh, Agriculture, yeah, 2020, yeah, trend of the corn production in Indonesia, yeah. That here in 2020, 2010, sorry, yeah, the most uh, production area, one area uh, in Java here, yeah, in Java. But in the 2020, there is the some uh, uh, change, yeah. Even the in Java still uh, increase, but we have increasing with the other island, yeah, at the area here, like Sulawesi, yeah, increase from 2 million, yeah, increase to five, yeah, until two and a half, yeah, increasing, yeah. Also the, in uh, Bali and Tebe, yeah, West Nusa Tenggara Timur, is 
Nusa Tenggara Timur ya is become twice here. So that's why corn production area become increase outside of Java. Yeah, but thirty percent of the corn production is produced from the outside of Java. But the feed mill concentrated in Java. Yeah, if we look the feed mill. Yeah, it's located more, yeah, mostly in Java, but the corn production area, yeah, move become increase in the outside of Java. Maybe for the next time we have to think about the logistic, yeah, infrastructure, system of transportation, yeah, how to bring the corn production from the production area. To the feed mill, yeah, to the farm. Okay, the next one is about the corn production. If you look, yeah, is the different uh, trimester, yeah. It is the January, February, March, yeah. And next one is uh, the second trimester is uh, April, May, June, yeah. So I think the distribution. Yeah, distribution of the production, corn production, mostly uh, harvest time during the uh, hot season. Yeah, because during the rainy season in the end of the year, yeah, October, November, December, yeah, mostly the corn production is become lower. So the production fluctuated. Yeah, low during a year. Yeah, plant of corn during rainy and harvest during dry season. So for the this uh, condition, we need strengthen of national corn stock. Yeah, because the corn use a daily, but the production is uh, seasonally. Okay. Also, the different price between the area. Yeah. For example, in Sumatra, yeah, in Java here, yeah, in Kalimantan, yeah, it's a different. Yeah, maybe the lowest price in Sulawesi, yeah, about uh, three thousand nine hundred, yeah, but in Java, higher than four thousand here, yeah. There is any price variation among area because to the production cost is different between the area. So that's why in this situation we need standard price or national or regional level, yeah. So to make uh, the farmer, yeah, enthusiast to to plant the uh, to grow the the corn, so you have to make a regulation to make a regional and national level of uh, corn price, yeah. Okay, recommendation and opportunity of corn to feed sufficiency for poultry feed. Yeah, first, self sufficient of local corn as poultry feed. Yeah, by expanding plant farm corn area. For example, you build the corn estate or corn complex. Yeah, maybe I have a read. Yeah, from the publication that the Brazil, for example. Yeah, they expand, they plant the Amazon. Forest, yeah, part of the Amazon forest, maybe uh, for the planting of corn, yeah. Maybe we can duplicate that concept, yeah. We can corn planting on the forest area because we have uh, many forest area here, yeah. So to increasing the production of the corn and also to decrease the production cost. Maybe we can make a corn estate or corn complex. Yeah. The second one is the intensive farm corn system in Java. Yeah, because we have a very limited area in Java, so the concept of the corn plant should be intensive. Yeah, but for the outside outside of the Java, we apply the extensive system. Yeah. Extensive, we can expand the area, yeah, because uh, the outside Java we still have many uh, land here, yeah. 
and the third one is potency of local staff yeah that i uh, let the mention by the sebastian about the palm kernel meal yeah uh, also palm kernel expeller yeah with some treatment technology yeah indonesia is the maybe the highest uh, palm oil production so we have also the waste palm kernel meal yeah we can use as the animal feed yeah maybe the problem of the palm kernel meal with the higher fiber yeah with the higher manan yeah so you have to apply the treatment technology uh, that i already apply already done yeah we use manan mananase and also physical treatment yeah to improve the quality of the palm kernel so by the by the treatment of the palm kernel we can increase the use of the palm kernel in the poultry feed yeah next i have a uh, it is the table that uh, explain how the palm kernel can uh, replace some of the corn yeah the number four is the increased customized feed yeah that the farmer can ask the industry yeah they can order the the customized feed i mean the custom customized feed i mean is the the kind of the feed that they need by the specific uh, specific production yeah mostly the industry produce the standard of the of the feed but if the farmer yeah in, for example in group because the minimal quality quantity of the order have to fulfill yeah maybe they can ask to make a specific special feed yeah special composition yes customized feed yeah one farmer need the dryer yeah to make a, a basis, uh, water content become lower yeah to decrease corn water content and the next one small poultry farm should be forecast corn as a cooperative to increase forecasting volume capacity yeah so maybe the the way it is the government can help the farmer yeah to build the way it is uh, storage bin silo for example yeah to increase the capacity of the forecasting yeah and the, for the long term maybe uh, we have to develop we have to think in how to develop pig meal close to the corn central production yeah okay this is the result of the experiment yeah we try to substitute the corn with the enzyme treated palm kernel meal it is a uh, 60% of the corn yeah in the next one we, we yeah we substitute seven and half of pkm this one is 15 pkm yeah treated pkm yeah we look here that uh, if you use yeah irfan yeah yeah maybe uh, you can short the presentations you have uh, maybe 10 minutes yeah okay yeah, five minutes it will be finished. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, the result is here. Yeah, the consumption. Yeah, this is uh, because without the enzyme, and this one is uh, with enzyme. Yeah, we look here that the consumption is become uh, yeah, a little bit lower compared with the without enzyme. Also, the body weight, yeah, final body weight with the enzyme quite a little bit higher. Yeah here also the feed conversion ratio also a little bit lower yeah so that's why the enzyme treatment is important for us if you want to include include the palm kernel meal to substitute the corn yeah maybe the quantity of the the pkm palm kernel meal we can use yeah maybe until 15 percent is okay yeah 15% of the PKM we can use to substitute the, the, the corn. Okay, 
maybe it's the last uh, PPT. Factor to consider, yeah, before what you have to consider before you use the co product, yeah. Nutrient only have value if needed, yeah. So you have to use, yeah, the good quality of the feed for the good animal, yeah. But for the lower production, animal production. Maybe you can improve, you can involve the, the co product inside as the feed. Yeah. Next is abrupt change, maybe put animal or feed. Yeah, they cannot, uh, they don't want to eat the feed. Yeah, if you use too much uh, co product here. Yeah. Also, the darker brown color because the, right, this, the processing, yeah, cause the right, this, uh, quality change the color. Yeah. And also the upper limit of inclusion, yeah, maybe 10 until 15, yeah, you have to conserve with that, yeah. And next one is sulfur, also high, yeah, phosphor in manure because of the use of the co-product, yeah. Also the, we talk about the storage issue, yeah, dry product, for example, you have to provide the storage bin, silo, yeah, problem with flow ability, yeah, the first in, first out yeah, system, yeah, also the storage issue with product, yeah, with product here, we, we have to use uh, directly, yeah, because the product in the wet condition, yeah, will spoil in 10 until 14 days, yeah, depend on, depending on the temperature, depending on the in, incremental, yeah, also require good bands, yeah, and uh, with the good uh, experience management. Okay, that is all I want to share to you. Thank you very much, Aziza. Back to you. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Pa Irfan. Yeah. Would you please close the share screen? Thank you. Okay, uh, Pak Sebastian, we already have uh, some questions here. Before uh, I personally want to ask some questions. <laughs> to Pak Irfan. Okay, uh, the questions is, the first question is um, from uh, Tessa. Yeah. Uh, allow me to introduce uh, myself, Tessa from high school at SMK Country 6, Bekasi. Uh, she wants to ask, why does the states of United States and around it not use rice as a primary food source like the states of Asia? Oke, okay. terima kasih Tessa, right? Yeah. Uh, for such a good question. Uh, uh, before that, I want to really uh, say thanks to to Pak Irfan because it was very very interesting the, the topic, the presentation uh, about the the rice situation in in the United States. It's an interesting question uh, because actually when we talk the the rice for the feed industry. The United States only is focusing with the rice and the rice bran, particularly for the pet pet food, yeah. On, only for the, the pet like a cuchin or anjin only. So in that kind of ingredient, we can find rice. But then uh, just the rice is going directly to the food in the domestic market. So in the domestic market only or the majority, the focus is the food when we talk about the feed industry only for the pet food. Because there are another reasons that uh, it, it, it takes to the producers in the US going specifically uh, with the corn and the soya bean meal. Maybe because they have a lot of uh, advantages. It's not only about the price, actually. But there are another advantages that they are, for example, in the case, in the case of the corn, because the, the idea of using the corn for ethanol and corn for food, okay, we have also corn for the feed industry. So they are also taking advantage of this kind of big uh, exploitation, yeah, exploitation or big use of the corn. And something similar we can say about the soya bean, okay? In the case of the rice, most of the, the rice for the feed industry is going to the export markets, not for the United States. So it is like, kind of priority they have first uh, the, the the corn second the, the the soya bean and then 
we can find another another grains and, and, and among these we can find the rice but uh, not so for the poultry uh, in Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so yeah. Um, okay. The second question from Rai Raihan Wahyudi. Question is: uh, Corn productions in Indonesia produced by small farmers uh, that is still low, or only about one point three percent per hectare. So that is not sufficient for animal feed needs. Because of that, animal feed entrepreneurs absorb more corn from large farmers and also imports. So what kind of techniques can be applied by Indonesia from Brazil and Argentina so that corn farming can become a big commodity? Yeah. Terima kasih, Raihan. This is something that, uh, something it was explaining very good by Pak Irfan, explaining how maybe uh, Indonesian producers could uh, expand expand the area for uh, the corn. So in this case, for example, Pak Irfan, I, I want to take some of his ideas because uh, it could be a, a good strategy perhaps from the government. Yeah? Uh, the idea of using some of the areas in Indonesia where you have uh, a lot of forest, of course, you also need to be, to, be careful about the, the sustainability, you know, the, of course. But apart from this, the idea of maybe some utilize this kind of uh, empty uh, areas for the production and try to develop these areas. So maybe you can, you can have more possibilities, more availability, more area to produce corn. Because corn, as, as we already know, is a very important uh, nutrient for the, for the feed industry. From Argentina, from Brazil, or another Latin American country, I think what we can help, apart from our experience when we are uh, producing a uh, corn, is try to bring into you not only the know-how in a general perspective, but maybe technology. In that case, maybe we have different technology, different applications, software, uh, machineries that maybe we can. Uh, uh, bring to you or, or share it to you, and maybe we can try to, to help to you to develop locally the corn in Indonesia. Actually, there was a kind of uh, agreement, cooperation agreement between the governments of Argentina and Indonesia in 2017, if I am not wrong, regarding developing uh, corn, developing uh, soya bean, even sorghum, even sorghum in Indonesia. So actually, it's, it's a matter of continued passion, no? continued passion, the, the cooperation between our countries. Uh, and personally, I think that from my country, we can help you with technology. We can share technology with you, know how. OK. And the last question. Thank you for the explanations. Mm, the last question is from uh, Ibu Agustina from Animal Science uh, uh, Hasanuddin University, Makassar. Okay, uh, she said, very interesting, Mr. Sebastian, for the information. Uh, corn is the largest component of all three feed mixes. So it is sometimes difficult to find, causing problems with soaring animal feed prices. What strategy should we do to overcome this uh, problem? Yeah, well, this is something that actually is happening in, in many countries, and even not my country, Argentina, as I explained to you before. We have this kind of crisis in, in the producers of the poultry industry because we, we are facing these high prices in, in the local market, in the international market for the corn. So actually, there are some producers that they were even leaving the industry. They were like closing the door, closing the window of, of the companies no? or the, the production places. They were going to work even with another commodities. For example, the, the kedelai, for example, the, uh, uh, the, the wheat, the sorghum, or, or even going, for example, the livestock, no? working with another animals. Only because of this problem, the corn. So you can, you can imagine how sensitive the, the issue is and at the same time, maybe it's not so developed the, the answers 
from the, the main players in my country, Argentina, about how we can help from the government to the small farmers, no? Uh, about, okay, find a way, find opportunity and continue operating, continue working with the, the poultry industry. Maybe try to, to, to mix, no? uh, bringing something of these alternatives that uh, also Pak Irfan was explaining before, no? considering the, the protein, the, the energy, etc. but continue working. So maybe in, just in that case, the government, and maybe we can compare the situation here in Indonesia from the government perspective, how they are helping about, for example, the finance, yeah? for example, money, so they can continue operating even the, the, the prices or, or, the, or the, the income, no? the money that they are getting is not so high, but how they can continue operating. This is some kind of uh, experience that maybe we can try to, to compare together and, and, and to work together in the, in the near future, no? if we can help from Argentina uh, to Indonesia, for example. It's actually difficult. It's actually difficult in the situation not only in Argentina, also in Brazil, for example. Brazil is even a bigger producer, a bigger exporter of poultry using corn. They are having the same problem. Okay. Okay, thank you very much for uh, the answer. So uh, we come to uh, Pak Irfan. Uh, there, is, uh, there are two questions uh, sent privately to my WhatsApp number. So, okay. The first question, Pak Irfan, is um, for corn estate, is there any impact for forest uh, sustainability? Yeah, okay, thank you very much. Yeah. I, I have a recommendation for the corn estate because of the, we still have uh, the open area of the forest here maybe it's not uh, it is, uh, not the forest uh, what it is yeah i don't know the, the hutan lindung not the hutan lindung but the for the forest production yeah there's forest production area we can maybe uh, yeah if the policy of the government we can use some yeah not all of the forest open area to grow the corn yeah this concept is already applied by the Brazil and also maybe the Argentina. Yeah, it's close to the Amazon area. Yeah, with uh, this uh, system, they can produce uh, the corn with the uh, low, lower production cost. Yeah, because the area is concentrated. Yeah, we have they have a zone, the corn zone here, so make easier with the the production management is easier. I think. Yeah. Compared with the condition now, is uh, the the area is uh, distributed all around the area. Is is also the 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 plant uh, grow is uh, time is different. Also, is uh, become uh, difficult to to make. Yeah, I think uh, one of the solution for the for the future. I think yeah, I think uh, the corn estate or corn complex. Right? If you look at the, the, the developed the animal uh, country, yeah, like Netherlands or Australia, mostly the production of the one commodity is concentrated in one area. It's not distributed. It's easier to manage, yeah, not only for the plant but also for the for the animal. Yeah, there is a, this area for the poultry only. This area is only for the dairy, something like that. Yeah. But in Indonesia, we have a different condition. So that's why it's very difficult to manage yeah, because the, the place is distributed. Yeah? We have a very big uh, country yeah, with a different island. Yeah? If we still have a system like now. OK. OK, this is the last question for Pak Irfan. Yeah? Uh, a fit meal has some prerequisites for customized fit. Can you explain, explain more about the customized fit? Uh, means maybe maybe uh, she wants to ask you about how to propose a customized fit to fit meals. Yeah, yeah, I will, I answer with the Bahasa Indonesia. Yeah. Customized fit itu adalah pakan yang 
mendapatkan makanan yang diinginkan sesuai dengan kebutuhan peternak. Ya. Jadi kalau peternak itu membutuhkan pakan dengan protein yang lebih rendah, ya, misalnya 16 persen atau energi yang lebih rendah, ya, itu akan menyebabkan harganya juga akan lebih rendah dan juga penggunaan daripada bahan pakan jagung yang sedang sulit itu bisa lebih rendah. Jadi pas pemain speednya adalah pakan yang dipesan sesuai dengan kebutuhan real peternaknya. Jadi bukan dari formulasi pabrik, tapi dari formulasi yang diinginkan oleh customer. Ini akan berpengaruh terhadap komposisi pakannya dan juga terhadap harganya. Tentu saja namanya konsumen, dia akan mengharapkan harga yang lebih rendah. Ya, karena dia tidak membutuhkan energi atau protein yang tinggi, dia hanya membutuhkan yang lebih rendah. Nah, ini bisa dilakukan kalau para peternak kecil itu memesannya ataupun mengordernya itu dalam jumlah yang besar, sehingga peternak itu harus dalam satu grup, ya, sehingga kebutuhan dalam satu seperti minggu lalu juga ada apa namanya? webinar tentang jagung itu juga mereka ada salah satu pembicaranya dari apa operasi peternak di Kendal kalau nggak salah ya itu ada salah satu contoh bagaimana ya manajemen um, um, penanganan daripada bahan pakan ataupun pakan itu harus dikelola secara grup kalau dia peternak mandiri kalau tentang tetap individu-individu itu tetap tidak akan ekonomis begitu karena biasanya kalau trading ya atau pabrik itu tidak akan melayani dalam jumlah yang kecil-kecil gitu. Itu akan rugi mereka gitu. Itu. Jadi customize itu lapangan yang dipesan sesuai dengan keinginan customer. Oke. Okay. So uh, they have to uh, have a big a big big uh, kilograms uh, when we, they propose a uh, that uh, customers find customized fit okay okay uh, okay there's uh, one question from Bayu Aryawan uh, Mas Bayu how are you um, this for, for Mr. Stercer and Pak Irfan uh, how to measure I'm fine thank you okay you want to ask yourself you can ask yourself uh, okay please Oke, okay, thank you very much. Uh, Bismillah, assalamualaikum and good morning. Uh, my name is Ahmad Bayu Aryawan from the postgraduate of uh, Animal Science Master Program in Halu Ole University, Kendari South East Sulawesi, Indonesia. I will uh, ask to Sir Injin Irfan and Sir Stasser how to measure, measure that agricultural wastes will overflow in certain season besides corn was limited okay uh, you want to ask uh, to pak sebastian yeah sir okay. stercer and sir engine uh okay. irfan junaidi both of the presenters okay maybe yeah, you can you. answer first uh sebastian okay I will answer from well, for the most uh, economic and, uh, and business perspective, and uh, I would say the well, terima kasih first of all uh, by you for, for your question. I would no, say that, uh, yeah, I would say that uh, despite the, the, the many challenges that we are facing in in Indonesia specifically, but in for example in my country also, which is uh, quite similar, I, I found similarities. In the poultry industry because of the corn situation, but uh, actually the difference, the main difference, Argentina with Indonesia is the uh, the land area that we have uh, as available for corn. In the country, in that case, we have uh, a big size and uh, a lot of uh, of production. Actually, almost uh, 50 million tons of corn. Quite different with in, in Indonesia. But uh, we are facing the same challenges uh, for the producers uh, in the poultry industry. So one of the things that we need to, to, to consider, and uh, I come again from, from the economic and business perspective, is uh, thinking that 
the, the corn uh, utilized for, for the feed industry, for the poultry industry, from the last years, uh, I can see that they, they were bringing uh, a lot of uh, benefit for the producers and also for the consumers, uh, consumers of chicken, okay? Because the corn utilized in chicken. So I think that uh, from analyzing the, the producers, analyzing the consumers, and even all the intermediaries in the supply chain, I think that the, the idea is continue working with corn for chicken. Unfortunately, we have this kind of uh, a fragile situation or a very weak situation because of the price and, the, and in Indonesia specifically also the, the area, the area for the corn production. So we need to continue working here in Indonesia deeply and find solution, for example, one, the area, okay? So where, where in Indonesia, in which islands mainly, we can produce more, we can have more area. The second is the technology, technology that locally or in cooperation with another countries, we can uh, produce or develop in, in Indonesia for the poultry industry, so, and utilizing the corn, yeah? So we can have more, uh, more development or in other, in other words, more chicken and cheaper, okay? Because we are using the corn with the technology and something like that. And the third is from the government. We need the, the help, the assistance from the government. For example, uh, as uh, Pak Irfan told before, the idea of making policy about prices, yeah? Uh, for the corn, uh, regional level or national level. And also funding, the money. Uh, financial assistance for the producers uh, of corn and also for the producers of poultry. So they can continue operating and there is no necessity to leave in the industry and going to another more successful or more profitable uh, industries. Thank you very much. Uh... Pak Irfan, do you want to add uh, some information or answer by your questions? Yeah, okay. I think in the technical perspective, the commercial poultry is a need high nutrient. Yeah. So that uh, it's difficult yeah, to change, to substitute the corn with the other product. Yeah. So that's why we have to max balance. Yeah. Price, for example, the volume, you know, also, yeah, between the corn farmer and also the poultry farmer. Yeah. If the corn price is too high, yeah, it's not the, the, the poultry farmer is not happy with that. They cannot buy the corn. But on the other side, if the corn is a low price, maybe the farmer doesn't want to plant. So that's why we have to make balance yeah, with the, maybe in the middle, yeah, win-win solution. Yeah. The most important thing is the certainty, yeah, capacity, yeah, the volume, yeah, the volume of the purchasing and also the price is a uh, is a win-win solution. Is uh, the corn farmer still have uh, wait is the the good price, but also for the for the poultry farmer also have the good um, good price too. I think this is better to make a balance. This is why the government have to make a policy, yeah, to to maintain, yeah, the the volume and also the price at least for the one year, for example. So the farmer and also the the poultry farmer. Have they can they can uh, it is plan the, the the cost of the production. Okay, so yeah, I think uh, we got to the, the final sessions of our um, discussion today, and I think uh, there are some um, 
recommendations from uh, Mr. Sebastian and Mr. Irfan. Uh, we need to uh, focus on the productions, on the policy, and also some uh, different aspects of the corn industry. And also we need, uh, yeah, we, I think uh, it is important for us to think about a partnership between uh, countries. Maybe uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Irfan and Pak Sebastian can uh, follow up this uh, session to some partnerships in the future. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, is there um, any questions before we close the session? Okay, I think it's enough. Uh, now uh, we go to uh, Mbak Dede. Uh, yeah, we, can, can we take a picture together, Mbak Dede? Mbak Dede, are you there? Uh, did it? Okay. Okay, I will uh, take over. Okay, uh, please open your camera and I will uh, take some picture. The first slide. Okay. Wait a moment, please. Okay. Second. Second slide. Okay. okay. The third slide. Maybe the participants wants to open their camera so we can take your picture. The fourth. Okay, and the last page. Okay. Uh, thank you very much uh, for the participants and also special for Pak Sebastian Stersers and Pak Irfan Junaidi. Thank you for abundant, important information for us. Uh, so here, uh, thank you for thank you everyone for the coming and I am closing the sessions. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam Terima kasih, Bu Asisa. Terima kasih, Terima kasih, Bu Asisa. 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 Terima Iya Bu, iya banyak. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Argentina. Thank you, Mr. Sebastian. Sama-sama. Argentina. Makasih Pak Sebastian. Thank you for all. Many participants want to say hello, Pak Sebastian. <laughs> Terima kasih support Argentina, eh. Argentina tiga yep. Brasil eh, kosong ya. Messi, <laughs> Messi, Messi, Messi ya. Support. Uh, Sebastian datang di Manado. Messi, 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 Messi ya. Support Argentina, yeah. Argentina. Messi, Neymar no ya, Neymar no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Walaupun kandangnya di Barcelona. <laughs> ah, ya Barcelona ya. Wah, semua ngomongin bola ya. Porza Azuri, Porza Azuri, Porza Azuri. Oh, Porza Azuri. Uh, Bola karena makan jagung di Indonesia. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Thank you. Okay. Terima kasih semuanya. Okay. Salam sehat semuanya. Bye bye. Thank you, Mr. Sebastian.